Well, it turns out Baron Trump will not be entering politics after all. In a stunning turn of events, Melania Trump announced that Barron will not be a delegate for Florida at the national convention. This change of plans comes just 48 hours after news broke that the Florida GOP elected Barron Trump as one of their 41 at-large delegates for the Republican National Convention in July. Here's the full statement from Melania's office. While Barron is honored to have been chosen as a delegate by the Florida Republican Party, he regretfully declines to participate due to prior commitments. There's a lot going on here, but this is first and foremost a sign of just how chaotic the Trump world is. How could this announcement of Barron Trump entering politics be fumbled so badly? The GOP in Florida is either incompetent, which is very possible, and didn't consult with the family, or more likely, Donald Trump and Barron were consulted and said they were on board, but Melania was ignored and freaked out after it was announced. I highly doubt that the youngest member of the Trump family's first step into politics wasn't something that was planned and coordinated behind the scenes. But the fact that the statement rejecting the nomination is coming from Melania tells me that she was not happy with this turn of events. She probably wasn't even consulted. Her statement was so short and rather sterile. I didn't notice any bad press that followed the announcement of Barron entering politics. Some people were even criticized for being too harsh on the 18-year-old Trump, for saying they'd look forward to going after him now that he's leaving his private life and joining politics. What's even weirder is that Donald Trump was just gushing over Barron being a delegate in an interview released on Thursday. He seemed thrilled about the idea of Barron getting into politics. As he's a very young guy, and he's graduating from high school this year. He's a very good student, very smart. And uh, I think that's great. I think it's very uh, interesting, too. But he's pretty young, I will say. He's 17. But uh, if they can do that, I'm, f I'm all for it. I think I'm all for it. Wow. He got Barron's age wrong. He's 18, not 17. Now, imagine if Joe Biden got his son's age wrong like this. The media would lose their minds. Yet Trump escapes criticism on this, of course. In any case, why would Melania torpedo Barron's entrance into politics after Donald Trump endorsed it? And what personal commitments does 18-year-old Barron have that's more important than nominating his dad to be president of the United States? Strangely, the Trump family has been noticeably absent from the campaign trail and Trump's criminal trial. But Barron's name came up recently when Trump used his son's graduation ceremony scheduled for next Friday, May 17th, as a way to complain about the trial not letting him campaign. As you know, my son has graduated from high school and it looks like the judge will not let me go to the graduation of my son who's worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. He's very proud of the fact that he did so well. I was looking forward for years to have graduation with his mother and father there. It looks like the judges are gonna allow me to escape this scam. Criminal defendant Trump cried for weeks that the trial would prevent him from attending Barron's graduation. And Fox News backed Trump up by feigning outrage over this for weeks. But the judge never said he wouldn't allow the trial to be off that day so Trump could attend his son's graduation. The judge just said that he'd have to see how the trial is going. And in the end, Judge Mershon said he would allow the trial to be off that day. During the Trump presidency, Melania Trump kept Barron out of the spotlight, forcing him to ride in separate cars than his father, even boarding Air Force One from a separate entrance. But Barron turned 18 in March, and based on the big announcement on Wednesday that he would be a delegate for Florida, it seemed like he was positioning himself to be more involved with his father's political career. I guess Melania wasn't on board with the idea and put her foot down. For all the tough talk coming from Donald Trump, turns out Melania is the real boss in the Trump family.